I love the early morning. It's the greatest time for me. There's something about the light, the mood. You can capture the beauty of the world, no matter where you are. Don't get me wrong. I love remote, wild landscapes, action, movement. But if you have the perfect light, any place can be amazing. You don't need to be on the highest peak for that. Not even close. I don't quite remember when Stefan and I started our journey. It's been a long time, and we've been through sand and snow together. We went to breakdancing events in Northern Africa and to motorsport venues in the Middle East. We watched the sunset on a rooftop in New York and drove the car of an actual prince right into the Sahara at night. We skied the finest powder and witnessed female power in the Alps. We took things a bit higher and went to Nepal together. Stefan tried to hold up with some of the best alpinists in the world. And what did it get him? Altitude sickness? Okay, and some pretty nice pictures. We made a lot of friends on our way, and some of them we lost. I love guiding him around, letting him see the world through my eye. During the pandemic, things have been different, of course. Traveling around the world was no longer an option. For me, this wasn't a big deal. Stefan, on the other hand, needed something to do. So, after I showed him around the world, he showed me around his home. We had a mission again crossing Austria from east to west by bike, and climb the highest summit of each state, sleeping in a tent and capturing the most beautiful moments along our way. You wouldn't believe how much there is to see along a simple road. Finally, we were back on the road together. This time, we focused on the small things, do is capture life. Do you hear the thunder? I can't wait to be caught in the middle of a dramatic storm, balancing on a thin ridge, lightning flashing. But for people, apparently, that's too dangerous. So, the weather forced us to skip Austria's highest mountain, and after hundreds of kilometers on the road, I could feel that Stefan was growing tired. Cycling eight hours every day and climbing mountains in between did take its toll on the muscles and on the mind. I used to be a hobby once. Stefan thought about becoming an electrician he spent a lot of his time riding competitive downhill mountain bike races. But wherever we went, he took me along with him. And in the end, you should do what makes you happy. So, he quit the races and started taking pictures of them instead. That's how Stefan became a photographer, and this whole journey started. We are free. Just be with me. Just be with me, just be with me.
I wasn't quite sure how it would end, though. The road to the last summit was long and tiring. Nothing to see except rain and clouds and more rain. I wondered if there would be anything for me to capture at all. Finally, we made it to the last summit. The fog was dense and cold, but we found our way to the summit. And suddenly, how can I describe this moment? I have no idea. We were looking at the most beautiful place there is. Home. <laughs> 